This is a 3D printed case for the Adafruit TFT Feather Wing. You can use this 2.4 inch display and an Adafruit Feather to make a nice little project. You can also throw in a LiPo battery to make this into a portable project. You can 3D print the case using PLA or you can use 3dhubs.com if you want to get them printed for you. First, we'll use a breadboard to help us solder the header pins onto the Adafruit Feather. We'll need to cut one of the strips down to size so that it can fit onto the Adafruit Feather. The Adafruit Feather uses a row of 16 pins on one side and 12 pins on the other. In order to fit the TFT Feather Wing, the headers need to be installed from the bottom of the PCB. Insert them with the short pins going into the header. You'll need to hold them in place while you place it on top of the breadboard. This half size breadboard can help us solder the header pins so that they're nice and straight. Place the board with the headers over the breadboard so they're resting on top of the pins. Make sure that the header pins are going in straight and not at an angle. Once it's all nice and square, press the board down until the header pins are fully seated. Before we get to soldering, double check to make sure that everything is in the right place. When it's nice and straight, we can start adding solder to the header pins. I like to place the tip on one side of the pen and then slowly bring the solder wire towards the other side until the solder starts to stick. It'll kind of look like a Hershey's Kiss when it's done correctly. We'll need to solder all of the header pins and double check to make sure that they all have enough solder. Once we're all done, we can take the board off the breadboard and take a look at our beautiful soldering skills. If we put it on the TFT feather wing now, the header pins are a little too tall. So we can trim them short using wire cutters. I like to cut them in half and put my finger on the end before cutting, that way it just doesn't fly across the room. So try to cut each pin so they're all about the same height. Now when we seat the feather onto the TFT feather wing, the headers are nice and flush. There's still a good amount of space in between the boards, so we can actually use this real estate for cable management. Next, go ahead and remove the feather, then lay the TFT display over the 3D printed cover. Make sure the cutout is in the right orientation relative to the screen. Line up the mounting holes that they're together, then insert M25 machine screws to secure the TFT feather wing to the 3D printed cover. You'll need to secure all four mounting holes to the cover. Now we can go ahead and install the feather back onto the TFT display. The slide switch is optional, but I'm using it in this project because it'll let me turn the circuit on and off. I soldered some short header pins at a right angle to the ends of each wire so that I can easily plug them into the female headers. Next, I'll insert the wires in between the two boards and pull the wire through the other end. Then I'll connect the wires to the enable and ground pins. Now we can insert the JST cable from the battery through the other side and connect it to the Adafruit feather. I used a piece of mounting tack to secure the battery to the back of the TFT feather wing. And now we have our little assembly ready to install into the case. But first, let's go ahead and secure the slide switch into the case by inserting it into the little holder. Now we can close it up, making sure all the wires are inside of the case. The cover will snap into the edge of the case and just locks in place. And that's it. This makes a great setup for projects like this little weather station. You can check out more DIY projects like this one by checking out our playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new projects every week.